This is a fantastic turnout for what should be our last meeting, hopefully. Hold on, I will go to gallery view. So thank you all, first of all, for hanging in there with us for the past four years. It has been quite a journey. And two weeks from tonight, anybody who wants to party because we're done, we can party because we're done. <laughs> what I wanted to do today, and I, unfortunately I'm gonna have to do this on my phone at the same time, is go through events one by one and make sure everybody's got what they need. We try to make this as quick as possible, but this is too important to rush through. Um, so I am going to start with the, uh, these are now in the order of the events. Normally, we, previously we've been going through them alphabetically. These are in the order of events. The things we need to talk about when we get to your event, and among the things we need to talk about, are for Fran's benefit, will there be food? Because Fran is organizing a crew to help with composting and he will have some questions for you about what will be needed in the way of cleaning up from food. If you have whatever you need in the way of volunteers, not that we have spare, you know, a lot of spare volunteers to give, but if you have a need, now is the chance to speak up. And I guess I should have started with an update of where you are on your event, and it can be a three-word three update of we are good. We don't need the details unless you want to share details, because for each event, I, you know, awesome people are planning them and they seem to be going well. Um, I will go through at the same time and ask specific questions to the event. Let's start, Joyce, um, with the car show, which is Friday night, the 17th, from five to dusk at Tom's. I have that you've got Lonesome Brothers performing. Yep. Food will be provided by Tom's. The souvenirs will be sold by Fred, Chris, and myself. Um, Doug will be taking, will be the primary photographer there, but Anything that you are not a primary photographer for, but you want to take pictures, please do, and we will want those for the book. Anything to report that you need help with? Anything? Um, no, not really. I can't. I, I'm going to show up to make sure everything goes right, but they've done this before. They set up a DJ every Friday for this, so they 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 already know what they're doing. Um, Lonesome Brothers have performed before. <laughs> and Lonesome Brothers reminds me anything that you will need a check for, mm. which includes bands. You beat me to it. Anything <laughs> you need a check for, he needs to know in advance for the amount and who to make the check out for. Okay. Now, at cruise night, it's not a big deal because there's one person, but, and I think Family Day has already provided the list, but for you know, some of these things where there are going to be a lot of checks, he needs to know in advance. He can't be sitting there making people line up to write checks. Okay. So and, um, and I, I need names and amounts, and I need some paperwork. I need some sort of bill, invoice, something to put in the records. I can't just write checks without... Oh, okay. some, some documentation. Okay. And, and I know some or what, you know, vendors and the like don't usually get it. They just take the money. But for accounting purposes, I yeah. need to match up bills and checks. Can it be and a it can handwritten? Be, it can be a handwritten. That's fine. But I just need something. Okay. <clears throat> if souvenirs are being sold at an event for which you have a vendor who is not prepared to get a bill in the cash box, there happens to be a tablet of, for bills. Fran, speak up as we go through this if any of them you've got questions on. Yeah, I have my hand raised. Yeah, I would just like to ask if the vendors, food vendors, including the food trucks and Tom's, I guess, will be using um, compostable utensils and plates, et cetera. Keith, do you know that? I would say no. No. Uh, um, food, food trucks, no, and Tom, no. Okay, so that we would don't... be whatever they're, unless that's what they stand, that's 
if they presently use them, then maybe they would. Okay. Okay. Okay, and but we'll be using them for the events, the the bigger events, the three big events, right? We'll be using them primarily at the events at the fire station, which are like the chicken barbecue and the polka. There'll be compostable cups. And that can definitely for the chicken barbecue compostable, the utensils, the plates, it'll, we're streamlining, streamlining it so it'll all go right into the... That, that's good. And for the Hurley uh, Family Fun Day, that's... I would say no. So Tom's um, is going to be using a food truck and he'll probably bring whatever he currently uses. And if he doesn't use those now, then I would say no. Would he around the field or trash for people walking I, from that? Oh, well, there's trash. Two things I wanted about. to know about. I was oh. talking talk to John about one. Chicken bones are okay to go. Compostable. Yes. Well, Compostable. tin foil. No, that'll need to go. The potatoes are wrapped in tin foil. So we're gonna have that'll have to be separated. Somebody's yes. gonna have to separate out the dirty yeah. tin foil as far as the crap. Yeah. Wonderful. We got a job for them. Okay. Shall we keep going? Because we're going to keep going back to food questions. Yeah. For individual events. So, tractor parade. Keith, I've got you on that one. Yep. On tractor that one. parade again. The, the vendors for the food are coming. I'm not aware that they'll necessarily have compostable. However, the the lineup for that is just more or less finger foods, hamburger, hot dogs. So you'd be getting like a, a potentially a paper plate and a napkin. There's, there's no need for silverware. There's no need for a large amount of, mm -hmm. of trash. And Good. you are, who will be served at, in front of Fairview? At Fairview Farms. At Fairview. At what time? The morning is from 8.30 to like 9.30, which will be a, a breakfast sandwich and a cup of coffee. The lunch will be whenever the parade gets back, prep, preferably or somewhere in the noon 12 o'clock range. At Fairview. Mm -hmm. Fairview. Okay. Will there be four to five at Fairview? Yes. Uh, I think we had, I can't remember. Only if you asked them, have them there. there. I know where they are. Yeah, that's, we'll probably end up moving at least one or two in there. Okay. Um, souvenirs will not be sold. John Schmidtke is doing the pictures. That's it. Anything else? Anything else you need from the group? No. Sounds good. Steam engine show. We are, we are good. So that is Saturday the 18th from 9 to 4 at your place. It, no food? Unless somebody shows up with a truck. <laughs> there will be porta potties. It's already there. You're doing your own souvenirs, so you don't need staff for that. The, the, obviously, we have a trailer stored in, in our place now. Well, yeah. I don't think it's going anywhere until is it one Friday night? Yes. Yeah, uh, Friday night it'll be at Tom, Saturday night it'll be at the Polka Dance. If somebody wanted to bring it to our place during the day, they are more than welcome to. And Keith and John, the two of you have it under control of getting it to oh. each event an hour ahead. We'll figure that out. Yeah. An hour ahead, she said. An hour ahead. Okay. An hour before <laughs> so, 10. Most important, the one I should say the most important one, the one I'm most worried about that is the first time because we need time to figure out a system for setting up to selling things. So, as early as you can get it to Tom's, the better. And just let me know and we'll be there. Okay. Okay. Anything else you need? Steam engine show. You are. Susan, I see my name for souvenirs that night, but should I just delete it on the Google Doc? Um, this branded wood and then my name underneath it. Oh. It, then it depends if we want to be selling. I 
think it's just going to be too much for us to be selling there. So I would say take it in one. Okay. So we're good. You're all good. As far as I know. Excellent. Polka night. Except he's not here. Polka night. He said he's all set. That's Saturday the 18th from four to eight at the tent. There is live music. We did not tell him we need to check in advance. Um, food yeah. by Tom's. Okay, I was going to say food. Yeah, Tom. Tom's is doing food at Van. There will be alcohol. He's taking care of, obviously, the police there. They did, they did put a lock on the trailer today. Yes. And everybody knows the combination. <laughs> I um, somebody was. I know the combination. I do not want to announce it on, to, on television. Anyone who absolutely. needs it, come find me and I will give it to you because it sort of defeats the point of having right. a lock if I'm announcing it yeah, on TV. No, we're not live. <laughs> no, we're, I mean, that's what's going out online. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're recorded. We're recorded. Let me I know have, if you need the code. I have one quick question, um, Susan, about it. is Tom. Because that's on town ground, grounds, et cetera, under the tent. Will that have any recyclable utensils besides cups, Keith? As far again, because he's providing his own material for that. <coughs> not that I'm aware of. The, all the cups for all the the drinks will be cups. Cups only. Okay. All right. And again, the his menu. It is un, without Don being here. My understanding is it was the same type of thing. It's all like a hot dog. You're gonna take it on a roll and in a paper. I mean, a, a napkin. That's all you're gonna have. You don't need plates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just that many. It's not going to be like a sit-down dinner. It's all lighter finger food type stuff. Good. Mm -hmm. Take four polka night. There will be porta potties. Um, he did not say he needed volunteers, souvenirs, Chris and Brenda. And then we have Victoria, who's a high school student. Uh, Amy LaValle is doing the pictures. Again, anybody who else who wants to take pictures at an event, please do. Ecumenical, okay, so I think that's it for Polka Night, unless anybody knows of anything else. Without them here. Okay. Ecumenical service, Sunday the 19th from 11 to 12 at the church. Uh, Amy will be taking pictures of that. You are, where's Adelia? I, like, I keep losing people in this room. I keep losing that. Are you having some sort of food beforehand or donuts or coffee or something like that? Okay. Excellent. I said the wrong thing on that one then, Fran. You're off the hook for that one. Fireman's muster Sunday afternoon from one to four at Hurlihy. Food by Zach's. There will be alcohol. There will be police. There will be porta potties. Um, this says Chris and Lisa, but I remember you came off that. This is not current. Do we know who was on it instead of Lisa? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Lisa Sippy uh, Megalinsky. Okay, yes. So if you can, if you don't mind, take Lisa off that. Sure. So mm -hmm. we will have somebody from the Grange working with you. Okay. On that. And you said you could use. I didn't take um, Chris Raybar. You said if she would come. Oh yeah. So we should. Have two she people. wants. She's going to go to a muster anyway. So there were two Grange people, Chris and Cindy. She, both, they both offered, and you said you didn't need her, and then you came back later and said if yes. she could come, and so I never took her off. Good. So it's it's uh, Christine Gray and Cindy Magdalene. Okay. And this is, that is so cool that I'm looking at like, these events, and suddenly the names just changed in that box. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to put something wrong in there. And John Chimica <laughs> will do the pictures. Anything you need for the muster from this group? I, you know, just teams just tell me they're coming. That's all. That, yeah, would, but, be <laughs> that, that would be helpful, but we'll, we'll do what we need to do. So. Okay, Fran. Uh, is 
with the cups there be compostable? Yes. Anything else you need to know about that event, Brent? No. Okay, so we're good on that one. The Historical Society lecture, Sunday evening at seven. And John was gonna take pictures there. I think that's all we need for that one. I'm looking to Amelia. If, if I look to the wrong person on any event, please speak up. You know, you're trusting me to know, to remember who's doing what. The dedication at the library on Monday. Keith, you've got an update on that one based on your day today. Yeah, the bench is now in Whiteley. Um, so mm -hmm. that we will get set by the 20th. We'll have it set, I'm hoping to at least have the framework for the panoramic we'll get that set. If the panoramic comes, I'm not sure. I haven't heard from Allison. I know where she's at with that. Uh, other than that, um, the time capsule Don has here, we have all of the components that we're going to include in it. And I want to get back. I don't want to spend time yep. at the moment on time capsule because I want to dive into that. In okay. So other than that, yeah, I mean, weather permitting, the hot air balloon, the tethered hot air balloon will be in the back in the field. Um, there is live music. There is yep. uh, caravan kitchens, food truck. Mm. Brand, I'm telling, looking to you, but I don't have any information on that other than I know the name. Yeah, um, again, the question is, any compostable items there? Keith, cups? What's there will be no alcohol there. So um, there definitely will be recyclable products like the tin cans, you know, yep. the, in the soda bottles, things of that nature, because we'll have cold, non-alcoholic beverages. Yes. I don't need to sit in on this. Uh, I don't need to sit in on this. We are also. Going to, oh, oh, hold on. Frosty. Frosty, is that you? Frosty, I'm going to mute you because there's background noise. Okay. Um, we've also told people in the materials that went out, the scoop and all, that they can bring a picnic. So there will be food that we don't necessarily know about, but we need to provide a way for people to clean up after themselves. Um, anything else on that one? So the, let's see. we have Bad News Jazz Band, Caravan Kitchen, I said. Um, there will be port potties there? Will there be port potties at the library? Yes. That's all right. Can you change that one, please? Thank you. I love this. That was magic. <laughs> uh, Chris and a high school student, Cordelia, will be selling souvenirs. We may be able to augment that with one of our kids. Um, and Brianna is taking pictures. Police? That's um, <coughs> I don't think we need, we decided we didn't need police no. for that one. Anything else anybody know on that one? Where's yeah. Katie? I have a question. Yeah. Um, well, first to say that the, the friends will be there to help. And we want all the girls to be there to help. My concern is the parking that night and the logistics of where everybody's going to be. Uh, without yeah. time here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point in time, obviously, it's a Monday night. The Waitley Inn is closed. We'll have that lot. Okay. We'll have, you know, even I would expect people having a pack park in the back of the Waitley Inn as an option. Mm -hmm. Certainly fill up the town hall in front of the library and then it'll be on street parking on the side. Well, I'm sure just to let you know, we'll all be able to help you there. We'll be there. Great. Thank you. And I think the trust can be done. Awesome. Yeah. What, what time was this? Yeah, I think park up and down. Yeah. Is that what Gary said? Can you We am expecting him to get there pretty much at six. And but I thought, if I remember right, we were hoping to not have that as a distraction until right. after the ceremony. 
and then for the, I planned on at least two hours. For Perfect. Him. What you and I need to talk this week to plan out the ceremony. We just have Sounds never, good. never discussed who's doing who's saying what. Um, what are we doing about crowd control or entry onto you know, who gets to ride the balloon? You had thought that he manages that? Yeah, he's, you know, I'm sure he's going to expect a volunteer of some sort to, um, and, and since there's no, we're not, it's no, there's no fee to it, it. It's just going to be, you know, a matter of first come, first serve type thing. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just worried about elbowing in line and people. And, uh, we may want to keep, keep a bring, you know, a tablet of paper and yeah. somebody writes down names, the orders in which people go It could on. be done that way. Yeah, just I'm just trying line. to look to avoid a long snaking line of people trying to get ahead of each other, and that, especially with kids. I, yeah. I guess that's something we can talk about a little bit more, but yeah. Okay. They, they took off the backyard the other day. We were talking, my wife and I were talking with them. As far as I know, we're helping them through. Good. Thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. Anything else on Monday night? The three of us will talk um, specific. Okay. The Arts and Crafts Show. Tuesday from 11 to 2 and 4 to 7 at Town Hall. Music by Lou Clayhe. Uh, we do not need porta potties. We do not need police. Brianna is taking pictures. Okay. And Fran, there's no food. Anything you need? Anything? I think you know, I got my family helping with everything and just taking blood samples. You sent around a really good email to everyone who's participating, telling them when to they can come and I've been doing that quite right a lot, but yes. That was awesome. Thank you. Hi. And please make sure everyone knows not to open their cookies until after they just. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, but the cookies. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry. But... So, but, but you're feeling good about this? You're all set? Yeah, my only thing I'm lacking is youth art. I've had a really, really hard time getting the kids to sign up and be part of it. So if anybody knows of anybody, just have them show up on Monday between 12 and 4 and just bring their stuff and we'll just accept them. Okay, good. The Wednesday concert, which for liability reason that I'm not going to try to understand is we can no longer refer to as a watermelon Wednesday concert. The insurance company okay. had a hissy fit. Okay. <laughs> well, Paul's insurance company didn't like it. Their name is on it. Oh, okay. So, so you but you've worked this out, you and Paul. I've worked, I've talked extensively with Paul this afternoon. Yeah. So Ashley will take watermelon Wednesday off the website um, okay. And Paul will not sell tickets through his social media, but direct everyone. Right. To He's going to direct it to, to us. That was the plan anyway. Okay. But just. Brad talked to him today about ticket price and what to do. So we asked for here. We asked to recall. Can we recall these? We talked about we that. We talked about that, and the answer is pretty, no. The answer is no. The glossy color printing, no. Yeah. <laughs> All that went out in the scoop going to every door in town and saying, sorry, you got to give us back your paper. No. The insurance company needs to come on. Can we start? Take a price. Uh, take, I talked with Paul. He thought that if he was sponsoring it as a regular Watermelon Wednesday, the group that he's got for Wednesday, would, he would probably charge $25. So I'm thinking, and he and I have sort of agreed to go 20 mm -hmm. for the, and he will start as soon as we approve this on this Wednesday, he will start promoting it through his on his website, on his website, right. Facebook, but, whatever yeah. he does. Mm -hmm. Thursday concert uh, is a good bit, he'll promote, but it's He's not really invested in that, mm -hmm. and we're thinking ten dollars for that. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're I will not... double check with Ashley that that's what she's got. Yeah, I don't think uh, we communicated that to her. Yet. I, I I did to that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think, yeah, I, I'm waiting to hear back from her on the uh, uh, the okay. the links that I need to give Paul yeah. to refer people. Yeah. To I she's out of town at the moment, probably upside down on a roller coaster with her kids at the moment. Well, I don't need to leave. Paul <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, and I sort of agreed. To, more important, we want to fill the place rather than yeah. maximize revenue. 
Right. Okay. Right. And I think there, just for the record, since we we all agreed that what would happen is uh, like with the chicken barbecue or polka night, if that were going to be tickets for that, that anything where we're collecting money, um, we cover the cost first, and then whatever is left gets split between the organization like the Firefighters Association and the way to cover uh, to hopefully give, be able to give back some of the money we got from the town. We will never do that with these concerts <laughs> right. because we've got some good acts and the, the costs are just uh, too much. So we will make some money to offset those costs, but Watermelon Wednesday isn't going to be getting any money out of this at all. They're, you know, they're, they're never going to make those costs and then be able to split 50-50. So I personally, I'm going to make a donation to Watermelon Wednesday because all, all, all the work that Paul's done, and, if, uh, and it's a 501c3 nonprofit. So anybody don't, else don't, don't associate way. with this, or else the insurance company will have a problem if they oh, if they're no. involved financially. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the problem. Is if, if they had any money, if they had on Wednesday, yeah. Inc. had money involved, then but to individual, in the, me as an right. individual, I can make a donation to Watermelon Wednesday. Because, and, and if Paul as an individual wants to promote this, Paul as an individual can promote it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make it really clear that because yeah. sometimes people don't, you know, they, they think that somehow Watermelon Wednesday is this cash cow, and it is not. <laughs> it is not a cash cow. It is. Can I ask a question, yeah. please? Does this group or does the Quaintly 250? Have its own insurance policy for liability, or are we going under the towns? The town, the town and that's all been that, taken care of. That's kosher. No, the, the, the town, the town has taken taken out a rider okay. to cover the week. Okay. Yeah. And what do we cover it up to? Two million. You're Sorry. looking at the wrong person. Sorry, what, what was the question? <laughs> what do we cover it up to? Two million. Whatever is under the town's blanket policy, which, if it's adequate for town. Uh, activities, it should be adequate for us. If, if Brian's comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it. And I would say it, it varies between the events, too. Well, you know, I want to be covered. You're covered. I think, I, I, I've talked to Brian about this, and if Brian's comfortable with the level of coverage, I'm not going to argue with that. And no individuals in are liable right. if there's a claim. Right. Correct. Correct. Is that correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, correct. Definitely. Okay. Um, so you still need uh, who the checks get made out to in the amounts for both concerts? I, I need. That, I sent, just sent me yeah, the details, more detailed information. Yeah. Okay. He gave me the name for. Right. And that, I like, so I asked him, who does the check actually get made out right. to? Double check my amounts. Because a lot and of is it, okay? it just goes to the leader. Good. Okay. Anything else on the Anything else? Uh, I, I think we're good. Okay. Like my whole family, his whole family, we have a volunteer. I think we're good. Okay. We're not planning on selling the souvenirs. Um, we could, I suppose, but um, I, I hadn't really <clears throat> thought about it. That. My inclination is no, just because it's such a hassle to set up. It's got to yeah. be worthwhile. Right. And there'll be probably be a CD table for whatever artist is there. Honestly, I would wait and make the decision after the weekend, see how the no. souvenirs sell. Oh, we have a lot of souvenirs available. That's that true. Maybe, we may revisit. So maybe we can revisit that. Yeah. 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 We may have a you know, souvenir <laughs> table at every event. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Barbecue. Barbecue. Yes, that's me. That's uh, you. As of whatever day it was, Sunday morning, I guess. We have uh, 125 tickets out for the 5:30 sitting and 81 for the 7 o'clock sitting. Uh, and my family has me to buy tickets yet. Well, you better hurry up, Joyce. <laughs> I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Jane, you're gonna sell them to me. <laughs> uh, you can probably buy them tomorrow while you're voting. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have a table set up tomorrow throughout the from 10 to 7 at the election, selling tickets for the barbecue and for concerts. That no souvenirs, just tickets. And, and whoever's selling, make sure people know it's the last chance to get concert tickets for $5. <clears throat> yeah. And push the 7.30, the 7, the 7 o'clock 
barbecue. When the, when the 530 runs out, there will be no more. Yeah. yeah. The then you have to find somebody that has a ticket in their pocket. Um, and what's what do you how many people roughly per seating? Like is it 150? Two, two, uh, two. About two hundred and fifty? Oh, we thought it was 150. Okay. Well, okay. they're only selling 150 because we, we got 150 we have online tickets. because we had four or five people carrying tickets around selling them the paper version of the ticket. Uh, okay. Because there's places. a lot of people that are just aren't on the internet. <laughs> buy the ticket, get it in their oh, hand. Yeah. Or our voters are weekly. Maybe. We have been sending people to you. Yeah. Is that okay? I hope it's okay. I, I'm fine with it. There was a guy, Bob, the other day. Yeah, that's your station. Good. <laughs> like Bob's yeah, he said he was going to be in at eight in the morning. Oh, he was here at eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's upset. Thank you. Yeah. And as you already know, uh, everything except a uh, tin foil is recyclable. No, not compost com compostable. The beer, the soda cans probably will not be recycled. Well, they'll be recycled, they'll be recyclable, recyclable. But, but not compostable. Yes. Fran, Fran, you're muted. Your mouth is moving, but you're muted. Right, we'll take the aluminum foil and the cans. Correct. We'll have, uh, we'll have all the recycling bins from the Franklin Council or from me, from the Solid Waste yep. District. And Fran, how many volunteers do you have for that event for the barbecue? Four so far, not counting me. So we'll see. <laughs> but it seems to be going on actually quite a bit longer with the fireworks, right? Will there be food at that point? Well, certainly there's gonna be people lingering from the, chick the seven o'clock chicken barbecue, but at a later time, the food truck comes in. What time is, I think the food truck will come in for the, the ice cream truck will come in for the it's five o'clock sitting. Okay, so yeah. Um, no, just checking. I so that was certain napkins with their ice cream. So I'm, I'm, it's an assumption. And the um, seven o'clock group gets no ice cream? Oh, no. It's a truck. Uh, they're bringing a truck. I don't, you don't, they don't they're, they're, they're really coming out of Hazzy. Maybe they can call for more. I don't know the answer to that. No, just fine. Um, are, they, are they selling or is it included in the ticket? No, it's selling. It's yeah. not included in the ticket. Okay. We have to make okay. sure people understand yeah. that. I think there's a Yes, you have a, so, you have a brown uh, brownie. Brown 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 and uh, the later the food truck, is is that going to be serving hot dogs, hamburgers? What's the scoop? No. Out of it? No, just ice cream. Oh, it's just ice cream. Oh, okay. So, and there'll be, I don't know, be, what kind of um, cups or what, cones? Yes. <laughs> yes, which, oh, I, I always get mine in a cup with a spoon and it will probably whatever they serve in, in Hadley that will probably be not compostable. I'll get the right turn before we start here tonight. Crunchy yeah, okay. frogs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. For the barbecue, we have TJ and the Peepers performing. There will be alcohol, so there will be police. Uh, there will be porta potties souvenirs there are two shifts for souvenirs um brenda and chris for the first one jane and our daughter becky for the second one and we will be around and doug is doing the photography anything you need anything you want to raise I have one more comment about that in regards to TJ. Today I received an email. I had made the assumption that Paul Dillon was handling the contract side of things with him. Yeah. As of today, he has not gotten it back, but I can. Oh, I, I thought Paul signed it before he went to Africa. I don't know. At this, okay. at this point in time, I, I don't mind signing, but I also need to get the deposit so I can give you the, the paperwork. Give me the paperwork. And John, are you going to need advance money or anything for the food? They won't know what the food is going to cost until they, it's delivered. Well, at least in Sunderland. We and should know Sunderland. before we go pick it up, but we won't know. Okay, so as soon as you know, let me know and I can. Correct. Yeah, if you, hey, I, I, I kind of told you, you could probably drive to Sunderland with a check. For the chicken, we'll, we'll figure all the way to Sunderland. I know. <laughs> what do you want? 50, what do you, a quarter for the gas? Yeah, that's over the bridge, isn't it? 
when do you need a final count by meaning but when do we stop selling tickets for the bicycle? Oh, when they come and get to 150 for each seating online. If well, we are not, obviously, if we are not at 150 by Friday night, you may not have wanted us to still sell tickets because you will have picked up chickens. Correct. So JP is working. He is, he was supposed to go and talk to the millstone today to get the cutoff time as far as mm. that when we have to give him the order for chicken. Let me know. And that at that point in time, what we can do is let Chris know. Right, isn't or not? Um, Ashley, no, to, to stop the selling them online. Ash, let Ashley know to stop huh? online and let me know because the souvenir table may be so. I know. I thought I thought so. But when I talked to JP today, based on the numbers, if, if we're if we're at three hundred, we don't want to order four hundred. <laughs> No, there's no sense in ordering a hundred chickens with not being sold. We'll have that's something that we as the committee will discuss. Okay, but let let me know. Let both Ashley and me know. Cut off the whole. Correct. We'll spread the word. It, it appears the five hundred ones going to be sold very soon. Be got done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because we're only selling five three hundred tickets online. Yep. Yeah. And you keep track of how many on paper as well. Yes. Paper. Yeah, there are 120 paper tickets floating around there, 300 online, 420 chickens. That's it. That's all we can cook. Okay. Split that in half. That's all the grapes will take. And you sold all the 120? Not all. Yeah. Half of them. All of it. We'll be, we'll be wanted people. Yeah. <laughs> Not to send reading. Who's got the cash for the 120 paper tickets? Yeah, I mean, I have some. I have some. And Wayne I has a bunch. Okay, well, get it all together. You know, the like, people who are around town all day long, the people running into Because I think you're there. There's some money associated with It sounds to me this like if I, have, if I have extra tickets, I'll just give it to Amy. So she can, because you get everybody's center, center, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. Yeah. 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 Fireworks. We're good. Fence is going up on Tuesday afternoon around the area. We know who the shooter is. He'll be coming down on Friday afternoon. I will be the point person and meet him. So John can do his other thing. We will have the training person there in the evening as needed. Um, the show will be about 20 to 25 minutes for the 8500. And up until 36 hours beforehand or so, they can up the show if we have more money, and that'll for a thousand dollars. It's about three to five more minutes, but we're good. I have on here Dave's as a food with a question mark as a potential food vendor. Is it a food truck? Ooh. We're not supposed to have people there. Okay, oh, no, no, at the fire station. Okay, <coughs> okay so that could, Chris, if you don't mind taking off, sure. Uh, there will be police there. Uh, Amy is doing the pictures. The ice cream truck will still be at the fire station. Yeah. I believe it. So there shouldn't be anything at the There will be at the fire station. Will there be anywhere else? Well, the library. Library. There's one at the library, and there'll be one at, I don't know how many at the fire station. Well, the, I'm looking at the, the, the Scoop Special Edition. It just said a food truck will be parked at the fire station for late evening treats. That would be the ice cream. cream. That's the ice cream that's, that's going to the be cream. there from five o'clock. So but it says can. nothing about the library. There's no food truck is a library. We don't want. We're trying to discourage people. From right. That's the what library. I thought. So, because but I keep hearing food truck in the library because yeah. there's, there's no ground to shoot. Yeah. So so leave the booze on. Oh, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. It's I still an ice cream truck at the fire station. Right. So yeah. 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 If, if I can interrupt you for a minute for the uh, one based on what you said with the extension, just to get everyone an idea, we. Our problem of the sixty thousand dollars the town has set aside for the two fifty, if we are probably going to use about twenty of it, fifteen to twenty, so forty plus will go back to the town. Do we want to spend an extra thousand dollars of that, which would otherwise go back to the town for an extended fire? We cannot go over ten thousand. We are not allowed to go over ten thousand dollars. Then we have to bid it out, and not allowed to do that. Fred, you want a motion for that? I just want to. Let everyone know discussion. what you, but yeah. discussion, but 
the general financial situation was, and is that where we'll, we want to spend another thousand dollars on that, sir? So, can you repeat? Did you get what you got back from him as far as has there been any inflation, additional cost? He said twenty to twenty-five minutes for eighty-five hundred, which we committed to, and and this is all three-inch shells, so it's all an air show. And for a thousand dollars, it's about another three to five minutes more. So, right, so. $9,500. We could add a thought we could go from 85 to 95, and it still stay yeah. within your permit laws. Yes, no fuel surcharges. As long as I'll take it in two separate no, checks. It was but, solid, and I talked to the owner of the company. Great. And, and, as long as I'll take it in an $8,500 check and a $1,000 check, that's fine. Because I've already put in Great. for a warrant no, for 8500 yeah. I don't think you'd have a problem with that. I don't yeah. think they'll have a problem with it, but you never know people are straining. I think sometimes. we need a motion. I'll make that more second. All in favor of an extra thousand dollars to extend the fireworks? Aye. Aye. We don't have to work any harder at it either. All opposed? <laughs> okay. okay. So if I you scrape, scrape up your cash and that's the thousand. Yeah, yeah, empty your pockets, guys. You are all the email speed. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Okay, anything else on fireworks? We're almost there, guys. Family day. For family day, I have Saturday the 25th, 10 to 4 at Hurley, TJ Papers is playing. The only food I have listed is everything maple. Is there other food? Yes, so you can take out every all things maple. Okay. Um, and Tom's is going to be using one of Eno Concessions food trucks. So we will have one food truck there that Tom will be staffing. Um, and he will have food, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, and french fries. So I would assume, Fran, that it will also be served on a napkin. Uh, french fries won't be, but the hot dogs and hamburgers will probably be served on a napkin. Um, and we're going to encourage uh, muffins will be providing um, individually wrapped brownies and cookies and muffins. Um, and then we have strawberries from Norris Farms. And then we're going to encourage um, encourage the attendees to go to Jay's at uh, five days for ice cream if they're looking for ice cream. Uh, Beverages? I have a quick question. Hold on one second, Fran, to keep people hydrated. What so are um, Tom will have beverages and then we'll also have, we have three, 300 uh, bottles of water and then there's the, the fruit drink that Pepsi is donated so yeah perfect good so okay that, that Dino's food truck we had him a week ago and he had bottled water and sodas and I just want to make sure we're not competing with them if we've got beverages and they've got beverages there's one price for beverages why wow. are we giving away water bottles? My thought was that those would be given away. So yeah, they, they've been donated. Yeah. But, okay. If they've been donated, yeah. then we can't charge. We shouldn't charge off. We can't. We can't. Well, they okay. donated some and we paid for some. I don't know. We may want to let Tom's know then yeah. that there will be free beverages because they will. Yeah. I, no, I understand. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Fran, mm -hmm. you're trying to say something? Uh, how long will the food be served available? I'm pretty sure. To... We'll be there from about 11 to 2. 7 to 2. Okay. okay. There will be police, there will be porta potties. The high school kids are helping out. You're good on volunteers. We're going to volunteer, yeah. Souvenirs are two shifts. We spent the day. Chris with Cordelia, who's one of the high school kids. And then our kids will do the second shift. I don't know if we will require police or volunteers, but if we're going to be encouraging people to go across the street, we're going to need crossing guard. Make a note that it, 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 can, it doesn't have to be a policeman, but yeah. someone's going to have to be up there. I mean, what we could do is have all the volunteers under the understanding that, you know, go and get, if you're looking for ice cream, you can go to five days or be preferring across the street, or however we should be saying it. But, but if we're but, encouraging but, people, but there are going to be visitors who could see an ice cream stand so across I the street. I don't have like a police detail or anything lined up when it comes yeah. to let's police. talk. To, let's there. talk. Uh, we'll make a note to talk to Don about that. Okay. We okay. can we can read it, reach out to Don. Oh, thank so, you. Someone's going to have to be across the or even just for parking or traffic, and just to have any type of enforcement there. I think it should be nice. 
Okay, and then for photography, Brenda, I'm looking to you for this because I have Mary down as a photographer. I'm also going to ask Ellen if she can do it as well, just because it's such a big event. I think we're going to need a few people. And any again, anybody who is there and takes yeah, pictures, to, what do I need to do? Screen. Get a what do I need to do? Excellent. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did I hit a button? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> probably popped up automatically. Yeah, popped up. Oh, okay. Okay, so feel free to take pictures. Lisa and I will figure out the best way for us to get pictures that people take because we're trying to work our way around Dropbox limitations. But we want people's pictures. Uh, anything else you need, family day? No, I think we're going to have a final um, meeting just to confirm the layout we spoke about. And then um, I just want to confirm tents that. The tents are going to be moved and down there with the tables and chairs. Oh. <laughs> okay. I talked to the school today. Um, between I'll probably be pulling three out of there plus the one that we have in storage that came from the South County Senior Center last year. And tables and chairs will somehow make we'll their way have, to the chicken barbecue. We'll get, yeah. Yep. Okay. They can be Great. moved. Amy, when you do your setup, yeah, you can make sure to find a space for volume for the souvenir table. We have okay. a pop-up tent. So there's a, oh, a we, tent. We, we have a pop-up so tent. We have tables. Trail. We just need a place. We'll, we'll see the trail. We just need a place set trail. aside with a train. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that's okay. Amy, Keith, whomever, when you're laying it out, lay out for souvenirs, including the trailer, if it's not. Right. Okay. Yeah, we've got that set. Mm -hmm. Anything else you've got? Anything else? Good. No, I think we're in really good shape. This is awesome. Parade. Uh, Sunday at noon, and you were explaining it's got to start exactly at noon because there was a train at 1.15 that we have to make sure we're off the tracks for. Well, we'll be off the tracks. Too. One way or another, we will be off the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop Amtrak. I tried, but they, don't, they, they won't postpone it. Um, you can schedule a track fire for that time and then I can. That's that might be a conflict. Okay. But in, in any case, yeah. Any case it's being recorded. <laughs> yeah. That's the fast one anyway. They stop the freight for us. The freight's not coming through. And that goes through like a bullet. Maybe a minute. The fires will be down. Okay. Oh yeah, that's yeah. most. Yeah. Two ten. The parade will have to stop. There will be railroad police there from the Amtrak police will be there. They're all well aware of what's going Good. on. And we have our biggest, burliest member of the fire department also positioned on the tracks for people who have a difference of you know, whether they should go across or not. Ah, Jason will be the them that they do not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, 26. Yep. The map I saw, you went over the tracks. No, you went along Plain Road. Okay, then tracks. All right, sorry. Um, the map is there's a map online. I assume it went online today. I haven't seen it online. That same map that I sent to all okay. uh, the participants for the parade. It's going to start at noon time at the church at the block of road on Chestnut Plain Road. It will be closed from. What's up, Fran? Yes. I don't have my hand up. I don't have my hand. No? Sure, look like it. <laughs> <laughs> The ladies from the church are selling a copy of donuts or that somebody. Was the donuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At the, it may not be donuts or whatever it is. Muffins or something. Whatever Did it you is. say the road's going to close at 9 30? Yep. yep. And we moved our church service that's, to 9 o'clock. We, we'll let you out. I promise. You get out? Of course you get out. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Right. I just yeah. don't want to be locked in. But we'll let you in. No. I want to get out. We'll, 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 we'll let you out. We'll let you out. Bergie's Bird, what? At nine. Nine. Nine thirty. Chestnut Plain Road from, from, from Claver Claver Road. Road to Chestnut Plain Road to Haydenville Road will be closed at nine thirty ish. Um, food trucks. They're selling coffee and something at the church. There's Bergie's Burgers. Hmm? That's their name. Local whatever it is. Burgers. Whatever it is. It's coming local, from Williamsburg. Local burgers. It's going to be at the Whaley Inn. And Zach's is going to be at the fire station. Nice. On, on Sunday? 
Yeah. For the parade. For the parade. Yeah. I think you're giving Fran a coronary here. <laughs> this is uh, me. I, 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 to be honest, we don't have volunteers for all of the uh, food trucks now that are suddenly appearing, but in the time slots. But I, I will put out a call. But this, what? So actually, there won't be many. Uh, Zach's will be where? At the fire station. Fire station. Fire station. And, and the Bergie at the, the end. At the way the end. And um, they, are they providing any compostable, recyclable stuff? What kind of stuff is? Probably not. There's, I probably assume not. there's some autoxin hamburgers and soda. But see, the, the, per, the two that are involved in the parade are not like the rest of the food trucks where it's going to be at the event. If you're 500 yards down the street watching the parade, you may walk up and get a burger and go back to your chair. And I don't, don't think we have time to chase you with the trash can. 500 yards down no, the we street. don't. But, but if it's uh, go, in one it's spot. Move away from the food trucks more so for the parade than it does yeah. in other times when the whole we, when the event is stationary. These are people who are scattered out. Oh, there's food down there. They run down and get some and they go back to the camp. It's the only cleanup crews after the parade. No, no, somebody, they'll be on somebody's lawn. Somebody so the Food trucks will be there at noon. <laughs> timing wise for the food trucks, is it noon to two or what? Or something? Noon to whatever, well, they'll probably, be, I assume they'll be set up before noon time. And it'll probably be after two, until the crowd goes away. I don't foresee them staying any, any longer than that. Um, we're filling up our fifth division. The, the applications I'm getting in now, the first four divisions filled up relatively quick. I, I get all the latecomers are coming in now and they're going at the end of the parade and we're lining them up. People just found out it's May 1st. Yeah, they I know. Do. Oh, it's <laughs> May 1st. Um, but in any case, anybody's still welcome to go and if, we're going to disband them. Uh, the Shriners will be on the elementary school. Division one will be on Mishkowski yeah. Circle. Divisions two and four will be on the south end of Long Plain Road. And I don't know, I, lost, I, I ran out of things to say, I guess. Are you closing off traffic on oh, Long Plain? Uh, traffic will be closed when the parade comes. So traffic will be normal flow to the rest of town and, until the parade comes, and then they'll reopen it after they go out. Okay, and you've got police coverage. Yeah. yeah, he's. He, we were informed that the chief has seven officers working that day, and he's getting three more. I think he said. Uh, all right, he's, he sits on a committee meeting with us every Sunday morning. So. Good. Okay. Any concerns? Any. The command need? post and the ambulance will be staffed. Uh, paramedic ambulance will be staffed at the fire station. Um, we'll have an EMT on a gator. Is that what he says? The gator in the center town, because we as assume that the center town will be the busy part of the parade because of the canopy. And the announcer stand. And that ambulance in the center, the, we own him for the day. He doesn't answer calls for, for uh, South County ambulance. He's ours. He's, we take he's ours. Mm -hmm. okay. He stays with the parade. Where is the announcer stand site? The At the library. I, I mentioned to some of you, Natalie Blaze is going to join the select board on the flow. The email I got today, she said she might walk. <laughs> I got that today. Okay. Um, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go, but I, I, I can ask you later. I'll, I'll bet you that would be on the select flow. Right, but I, I like, I, you got, I, I don't know. That's the guy who did the paperwork. Division one by the judge. <laughs> I told him where to be. I think okay. you, you told know. me where to be. You just didn't tell me when. There'll be a chair. For That's because you didn't get the, the first three mailings. I guess eleven o'clock. Be ready to go. Okay. And tell her where to be. I'll ask. I'll tell you. <laughs> without without, without violating open meeting laws, so it's just about when and where. Yes. <laughs> and you have to tell um, Julie. <laughs> Or, or whoever, right into the name whoever gets elected. Yes, whoever and gets anybody elected. that's on this committee uh, will be at the fire station after the parade. Oh, nice. Okay, good. 
just to your, the, the tent will be there. The, the tables will be there. We may have a couple of kegs that have to be finished. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be an opportunity to unwind. Yes, we, we will debrief. Socialize, we'll debrief. debrief to debrief about debrief. the event. Um, oh, yeah, vote on <laughs> tonight's minute. We, we might even have a food truck that's still there. Oh, yeah, we'll pay him this sound good. We could. Okay, for that event, we have Doug taking pictures. I will see if Alan will do it as well. And that's another one where we'll, you know more people is better because there's so many spots along the right. way to do it. Cap will be at the announcer stand. I thought. Good. Yeah, I, I told them to come to Yeah, actually, I want, I want to get back to that. Okay. All the fire, by the way, all the fire department personnel the day of the parade will be in electric green rather than red. So yes. we can find our people in a hurry because they certain ones belong in certain trucks doing certain things. And the easiest way for us to find them is to make them. Hopefully, they'll have a quote. One more thing. And if there's any volunteers who want, would like to park cars that day, I have five places that I need to park cars, and I have no people. Oh, it's Festival Park. Yeah, I get it. In they go. We got them at our place. You're parking here. It was your place, but I didn't, didn't figure I needed a parker. You want to park at your, your house? I don't care. We volunteered one time ago. I don't care. It's on there. It's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. It's so I, oh, your parking spot is there, but yes. I'm looking for people. Well, he's actually, gonna, you'll be taking care of your own. Yeah, he's going to take care of his own. Uh, so that if anybody is able to help with parking or knows anyone who is, um, like we can talk to the kids. <laughs> we can think of volunteers, all sorts of stuff. No, can I think, don't they have the, um, you know, Sharon Petrick is very involved with the um, football team or the baseball team, there's a group at the high school. Didn't she retire? Didn't she? Yeah, but, oh, okay. yeah, she did, but I mean, she, I think it's a, Scott Bridge, someone who's a coach, and they often use the kids and they get community service, and maybe you could get them to park the car. Just so God. It's high school. I'm trying to remember, Amy, when we were looking, working on the t shirts that you needed for Family Day, I thought there were two groups. We only ended up using one the baseball team. Was there a second group that we ended up not using? I don't remember there being a second group. Um, but I cross into to Judge Chris Williams, um, and he was the one that recruited the, the baseball players. But uh, I don't know if he was my favorite contact. But... Yeah. Um, Try to hold another week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that has got okay. to get nailed down soon because when's the last day of school? Yesterday. Today. 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 Oh, great. Okay. Anything else on events? Speak now or forever hold your peace. We are good to go on all events. Oh, my gosh. Four years in the making. That is music to my ears. Okay. Then there is other business. And I'm just, again, doing a check in. Infrastructure, anything. I look to Keith and John, but I'm not quite sure anything you need. I have a question. Yeah, just uh, uh, Keith, are you uh, picking up the compost and recycling containers, bins? We'll get them from Greenfield, yes. Okay. And are you going to be setting up the bins in one spot under the various tents and stuff, or how are we going to do that? We'll, we'll have that. I, I'm not sure where Don wants to do the focus stuff, but uh, I certainly will have input as far as where we do. But we can yeah. work that out where we set the uh, yeah. problem. So that's yeah. You and I can talk about it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I just want to get an idea. Of, for all of these events, they'll be if the containers are there, they'll be in or near the tent someplace yes. under. Yes. Right, right at the sides of the tent. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else and, you need? Oh, and yeah. um, one last thing. And uh, full bags. Uh, are we having staffers run those over to the transfer station? Did I hear that? I'm the. Uh, I have staff. We'll have staff designated that is working with moving trash, bussing tables, things of that nature. 
Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That's it. Anything else? Infrastructure? I think I, I'm good. Okay. I let me go back to for events. I encourage people to wear their shirts as often as possible. Obviously, for an event that you are working, unless there's a reason not to, like you've got the green shirts. I know that the dress is more formal for yours. But I also encourage people to wear them just when they go to events because we're, people will quickly learn that the red people have the answers. Or at least, <laughs> or at least we can pay it. At least we can yeah, pay right. it. You should be careful of that. <laughs> um, it's just a way to show who the organizers are. So I encourage you, yes, you can take a break and wash it occasionally, <laughs> especially if it's very hot next week. But I'm just encouraging people to wear it whenever it seems you know, appropriate. Like, you know, I'm thinking if we all wore it, aside from you guys, the day of the parade, that would be fun. That's good advertising for selling the blue ones. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> Where I've, I've been wearing it out so that like people can, I mean, this is why mine is in the washing room right now. Um, I've been wearing it to like go in places and so far nobody's asking anything about it. We've had a couple of people ask, we were working at transfer station the past two Saturdays selling tickets. People want to buy them. So we're hoping there better be enough demand because there's a whole lot that are going to stay in your barn because I don't want them back in my garage. I know people have much free stretch. <laughs> <laughs> However, they can go. Okay. Have you seen the green ones from the Deerfield Pharmacy? Yeah. Okay. They're very nice. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, it's 250. Yes. Oh. They had a whole bunch of them printed that said, wait, wait, 350. <laughs> Gee, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 some of us, you know, we get them planning yeah. and that's interesting yeah. that there's yeah. some of them. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. we're not competing with them. Let me keep let me keep going. Marketing and PR. First of all, shout out to Lisa and Ashley who've done an amazing job getting word out about all the things and all the materials and the signs and everything is looking fantastic. In fact, they had Amy on family day. Yes. Doing, yeah, I, I don't even mean, if she's not here right now. I don't mean to exclude anybody, but there's just been a few people who've really been focused on that. I feel like we're moving beyond marketing and we're now into PR. I did an interview today with the recorder. Keith has an article that was in some newspaper. I don't that it was, in the, it was in the reminder. Okay. So we're trying to get the word out. However, we don't want, we're walking this fine line as we've talked about because we don't want to draw the general public that it becomes too crowded for wavy people to appreciate. So I'm thinking, you know, we had, I think at one point we had talked about and decided against running an ad in the Gazette and the Reporter. The articles are fine, but we're not running ads. Is Katie still here? No, she is. Oh, shoot. I wanted to ask, I think now it's a matter of getting coverage, PR coverage during the event, rather than trying to draw traffic, just getting the word out. And I wanted to talk to this group about, do we, you know, do we want to contact the two you know, TV news outlets and see if they'll cover it? The reporter will cover it. I talked to Chris Larrabee today, and he will be at some of the events himself and sending photographers and all. Do we want to reach out to the two TV outlets? Katie already has. With, that's why I wanted to ask. I, I mean, Katie. Katie, I already know she has with, with 2022. 2022. Okay. Do we want to? I don't know what to call the other because they're all in the Well, but it's the, I, I can watch them on Western the Mass News. Western Mass News. <laughs> sometimes they're on 40, sometimes they're on 3. 3, 45, Fox, Fox, they're all the same. Uh, we might as well reach out yeah, to them. They, they should be at least notified. Is there anyone else we can think of that we want to get the word out to? I know that you know, for the polka, for example, there, there was a direct communication with a radio station that does a polka show. So that's kind of separate. You'd assume that Northampton would get it because it's the same newspaper, basically. So they would have information in there about it, too. 
Sometimes the article appears because we happen to take the Gazette, he takes the reporter, we take the Gazette so we compare notes. And there's stuff that gets into the reporter that doesn't make it to the Gazette. Thank you. Ah. Um, I don't know if we can ask Chris to run it and if he has leverage for running it in the Gazette too. I can it's the same him. reporter for both newspapers. So. Chris Larrabee? I'll talk to him. Later. Yeah, but it's an editorial decision whether they're it's right. They they, 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 it's the same reporter, but that doesn't mean that the staff. They may or may not be able to influence the editors, but right. That's what I'm getting try. at. So it's just, yeah. Okay. Anything else we, anyone else, anyone else, anyone can think of that we should contact? Okay. So I will reach out to Western Mass. I will talk to Chris Larrabee. Okay, we have two more uh, pieces of business. Next one is the time capsule. Let's see. Sarah, can you take that red? We have contents of the time capsule, some of which I still need to put down. For the event at the library, Ashley is going to create a slideshow of the contents of the time capsule. So, thanks for your affinity. Going into the time capsule, I need my down away. Feel free to repack this, Don. <laughs> so we, we have each of, each of our souvenirs. We have a t-shirt. We have a mask, and I wrote on the mask, face mask from COVID pandemic that delayed celebrations by one year because they're going to laugh at that in 100 years. 50 years. 50, 50 years. Um, we wanted to have a sample Greenfield reporter. I got the one that has graduation from Frontier, figuring 50 years from now, people may enjoy seeing some of the names that are in it. I don't know if there's a better one to have, but it's kind of too late because I'm giving this to Don tonight. <laughs> we have, for the price of things, let's go in with that, a stop and shop ad so that they can say, you mean chicken was only $2.99? So, oh, hold on. This way's a time. I'm going to put this That is gorgeous. What does it say? I can't read. Oh, okay. Waitley 250, buried on June 20th, 2022. Members of the Waitley 250. That is stunning. I encourage everyone to come and take a look at it. Take a picture of that for um, for the slideshow. We have menus from the Waitley Inn and the diner, which were the two places that had menus. It was interesting when I went into the Waitley Inn to get that. He pointed out to me that on the wall was posted a menu. When did I say that was? Nineteen sixty-seven, something like that. And the same food items were 10 times the price. Like something that was $3.99 then was better go lobster, $3.99 then $39 now. So it'll be interesting. We have the official list of residents and list of businesses. Who was in town with? We have two scoops. One is what I'm going to call a normal scoop, the most recent one, and one is our special edition. So the normal one has you know, notes from the town clerk, from the church, the historical society, all that. But then we have that. We have the 10 most popular books taken out of the library. They, they had to do it for 2021, but the most popular books. A copy of a Wakeley hymn from the milk bottle. Annual report. Uh, 
Yeah. So I'm going to have your people pack it better than I'm throwing things in here. Yeah, the guy at, at uh, Tech uh, has done these before, and he's going to give us some oxygen absorbing stuff. And Excellent. We ordered from Amazon a desiccant packet. So we already got one. So, okay. Which is still in the plastic. Fred said we shouldn't open it until we need it, but let them do their magic. I, I have, have no clue. will make a big difference in 50 years. I have no <laughs> clue what I'm doing. They do. And this was actually a really fun project. We have 50 photographs of what is Waitley now, of places around town. And for the library, um event these will be on the slideshow that people can see all the photos that went in there and i've gone through and i've labeled them all and said not just you know the public <laughs> center school corner of blah blah you know so that there there are landmarks so there are 50 photographs that are going in and then keith you've got the notes from the kids yeah i mean <clears throat> we have a um school photographs of all the kids in school presently this year nice of all the grades and then each grade has and some even went as far as doing laminated stuff so um there's things you know the children have written up they, the mission they were given was to write knowing that it was 50 years from now so most of them are can can write to themselves, whereas what was done in 1971 was was writing to most likely a future generation because it would be 100 years from that. So, um, so anyways, we have all this from the all the entries that the students wanted to put forward, and that'll be included in there also. Excellent. Um, I'm really I'm really excited about this. Yeah, yeah, 50 years from now, and hopefully they will hold on to this for future celebrations of what what town is now. I want to take a picture of what you got to eat before we give it to Dylan. So that is the time capsule, which will be sealed on. Um, I suppose we can have the capsule itself on display at the library. Yes. On the 20th, but it won't be very. I, I, I do not. I, I do. I would take the same liberty in doing the same way that was done in 1971. And that is that it wasn't buried right then and there. So there wasn't an open hole to be worried about people all trying to look in and worrying about that, that hazard to be there. So in 1971, they had the ceremony and then they buried it within a, a few days later. Um, so this one will be done the same way. We'll have the ceremony. Time caps will be there present. Um, Don, can you see if the student, her name, I can't remember her name. Is she able to come on Monday the 20th? Uh, Friday is the last day of school. So I, I know that, but could she? She, she ho hopefully will weld it, and I'm pretty sure she's local, so I will uh, see. If uh, yeah, I understand, but I would like to have her there so she can be recognized in the ceremony as the creator, the welder. The I'll check with Laura Burroughs on Monday. Okay. And so we'll have the ceremony and then we'll bury it adjacent to the, the one that's there at a later date in the week. These are awesome. I'm trying to figure out how to take a picture just to show what we got. Okay, um, I will work on that after you all have gone home and said for Don, we can't leave until I do that. The last piece of business is the commemorative book, which after everything is done and Lisa and I have caught our breath from everything that, we, that has been going on, we will work on putting together a book with the pictures that people submit. I know that Ashley in the scoop and probably elsewhere is encouraging people to post their pictures and tag them on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, hashtag where uh, So we're, we're encouraging people to do that if they know how, which is more than I do. Uh, um, and then 
If anybody has pictures, if they can email them to me, that's great. If they want to drop off a thumb drive or a CD, however you can get us pictures, Lisa and I will work with that. Well, the other thing we're going to need is everyone's going to need to write a summary of your event oh, and all yeah. the people that are were involved in it as well. So we can do that. And we, we will remind you of that after, yeah. after, yeah. after the yeah. fact. Can you be a full color Yeah. Can I just ask, are we just doing it in one meeting? I mean, like, we're doing digital, but like, you know, those things are. You're, you're, you're this will be print. this will be a printed book. It's going to be a printed because you know the digital moves the. Well, we can't charge for digital. <laughs> <laughs> we also, you know, like we're not putting digital into the time capsule. We talked about this at length. We cannot be certain yeah, what format things will be, you know, in fifty years. Imagine if we had put in one of those little floppy disks mm -hmm. because that was what everybody uses, right? And then you come to nowadays, and no computer will take that. Well, we think a thumb drive will work, right? 50 years from now, who knows what they'll do. So we are going old school with this because as my husband, the antiquarian book dealer who deals with material, paper materials from hundreds of years ago, they last. Hopefully, people still be able to read in a few years. Well, that's a whole other thing. Well, they'll be able to read just as long as it's not written. Kind of it's not on a screen. <laughs> that brings me to anybody have any other business? Yes. How do we sell items? How do we set up our phones or whatever to sell? When you come to your shift, Chris, Fred, or I will be at every shift. And we'll show you then and there. You do not have to do anything on your own technology. Oh, okay. That it is already set up on an iPad. We may well have it on a second iPad so that you know, at particularly busy events, if your daughter's bringing her hers, at particularly busy events, we can have multiple things going. If people want to pay cash, it is super easy. Oh, that, that's an important thing to say. And this will be part of the training. We want to try to keep track of what we sell. We will make up a master sheet with you know, small you know, t-shirts, small, medium, large. Make a mark when you sell because we don't want to have to go scrambling through boxes not knowing do we have any more of that size left. Where if we keep a tally of what we sell, <coughs> we should know when we run out. That's most important for the t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. If your shift is selling and you running low on candles, thermal funnels. Mm -hmm. They didn't all fit in the trailer. Some of them are still at our house. But we will if, replenish. So let if, it reach if out we, if we go through all that are in the trailer, we'll be very happy. <laughs> we do not have any more t-shirts. Well, What's correct? in the trailer is what we That's have. it. Uh, what, one other thing about using your own technology. <clears throat> if you're going to be selling souvenirs and you've got a cell phone, if you know how to set it up as a mobile hotspot, that would help. Because we do need to have internet access for the iPads, which do not have their own internet, their own uh, cell subscription. Right. But if you set up, if you've got a cell phone and it's usually very easy through settings that you tell me you can't really to say mobile hotspot. Yes. I have a mobile hotspot that I can run on the committee for the use. For oh, them. wow. That would be so, awesome. Thank you. Yes. If so you that can, way you're not, you know. That would be fantastic. If you yeah. can drop that off at our house before Friday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Zach and I will make sure that the trailer gets to Tom's Friday night and we'll pick it up at the cruise line as over with. Awesome. Uh, Thank, you. Great. Thank, Thank you. Just make sure it's awesome. charged in the perfect already. Okay. Yeah, we've got to do that with whatever electronics. You guys got to have to do it. Thank you. So it's got to go that? where from if I just take it back to my shop on Friday and because it's got to be somewhere on Saturday. Yeah, the list. No, it's got to be at the muster. 
Yeah, it's got to be at the muster on Saturday. But if there's no home on Saturday, it has to be at the polka dance Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Well, I, I have to be there. Just take it home. Just leave it next to the pickup, which is where I go. Where <laughs> I go, it goes. <laughs> Thank you. If I can ask you to have it Friday by four. You can have it Friday by noon if you wanted. I don't know about that, but. Yes, you'll have it by four. I should, I should be around all day for you to get it whenever. And we should liaison with Tom's and see where they want us to put it. Yeah. Before it shows up. And what's, what's, what's the end time of the thing so I can? It just says dusk. Grab it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think at that point, it'll be 839. I don't think we want to leave it there, even if it's locked. No. no. We want to take it back. Really not. And anybody who is selling a souvenir, seriously, reach out to me for the code for the lock. Although, if you have it and we have it, other people Most shouldn't people need it, already. but then we should make sure we have it as a backup. Okay. I just, it's a pole. A full, full area, but like wide. Yeah, we, we packed it so because we didn't want stuff falling. Yeah, it's nothing old. Yeah, no, that's fine, but stack it much higher than yeah. that. Especially with their bottles as well. Sure. Okay, any other business? I um, just checked the souvenir page at yes. the website, and it looks like we have the milk bottles and the face mask there, and I'm drafting oh. an email to Ashley to ask her to add. The face mask should come off. We should add the Yankee candle. But at this point, we do not want to take online orders for things. No, right. If we have stuff left over, unless you want rags or any, you know, anything else, With lots of candles. then we may have to explore online sales, also seeing if we can sell them at places like Fun Farm and Muffins. But I'm just hoping we don't have those problems. I'm sorry? How many blue shirts do we have? 375. That was 450. Well, that, that, the that, tote, that includes the red. The red, the red ones. It, it was something that, yeah. I thought it was, I don't know. It was around 350. 350, something 350, like 375. That, yeah. So we have children, small, medium, <laughs> large. Did we get children's large? Yes, we did not get children's extra large because it's the same as, as an adult small. Uh, and then we have adult small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, and 3X. And obviously, we got the most of the most popular sizes. So we have the most large and extra large, not as many small and 3X, for example. I want to thank all of you in the, well, Thank all of you for everything that you've done over the past four years, and thank you in advance for everything you're about to do in the next two weeks. Two weeks. Exactly. And we will see we will see you around town over the two weeks, and we will see you at the fire station after the parade a week from Sunday, because that's when we're done, except for you and me. <laughs> thank you, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And any questions? Any problems? Seriously, do you all have no. our cell phones? No. 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 Let me email. That's what I'm thinking. I will. Okay. I will send out an email. Keith, can I use yep. Keith, yours too? Yep. Okay. You want to get mine since we're going to be away. If you don't mind, the only time we will not be in town. Is Saturday night the Olga night? I can't promise our attendance for events on Sunday because our nieces and nephews have decided to crash at our house. I guess one or the other one is because yeah. 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 Yeah.